pas il va déjà I would like first of all to pass my apologies. I normally don't like to break these videos, but when players ask for timeouts which can take 10 or so minutes, the fact is that we are in the bar. As much as we may have requested the bar management not to do music which affects the internet, they play music during the breaks, so that's why I turned off the video because the music will badly affect the very existence of the page. Facebook is not kind with the music that is definitely copyrighted, but we are back. Yes, the guy who has been having a very good day is the guy that is starting by trying to increase his lead even further. The last time he had a 12-game lead in any match is the biggest money match in terms of margin of victory that he has ever won against the Wola Simon at this same venue. That is another single visit clearance and he makes it 21-20. And the timeout was not effective at all for Jerry. Very frustrating experience having your time out and returning to an apple by your opponent. That is exactly what Caesar is doing to Jerry. The scoreboard is not looking healthy at all. If you are watching from Japan or from Pumalanga, from Santon, from Japan, from Cape Town from Pretoria, from Secunda, from anywhere in Gauteng. The scoreboard is so lovely if you are watching from Lira, from Kampala, from Jinja, from Bali, from Bulu, from Masaka. The bulldozer is slowly but steadily being infested by the poison of the Ugandan scorpion. Many matches, sessions like this, in which South African top players over the years have toured Uganda, have slowly but steadily taken the fear of South African players off the minds of Ugandans. The fact that Jerry is having his eighth money match, the fact that he has played in two tournaments in Uganda 
and hasn't reached the price bracket in any of them is testament he cannot do much he can only wait for his turn to try and take advantage of any chances that Caesar may give to him as long as those chances come but that one is a big if Jerry once again nods his head in disbelief of how much he was in trouble but yes a very nice recovery after allowing himself only little sight of the black ball and sinks it in to the corner pocket of scissors yellow jerry responds to apple by apple how about a shot of the day from the guy who maybe maybe not be the winner of the day the look on Caesar's face tells it all. He doesn't care that he's leading. He doesn't care that he's four games away. He doesn't care that he's frustrating his opponent. He is serious as if he has not won any game at all. He started his journey from Massacre after winning that tournament yesterday with the first and second positions at around 3 a.m. this morning arriving in Kampala around 6 a.m. had sleep up to around lunch time woke up to have some practice and by 5 p.m. he was at the venue Jerry arrived at 7 p.m. with the guidance of the advanced talent agency who have taken very good management of him during this tour and I know he will be appreciative of the ambience and hospitality of the Ugandans. Forget what you see in the matches, always supporting against him. Before and every match, Jerry takes a lot of time taking selfies with Ugandan fans. Yes, they support their players, but they love him. They love all good players, no matter where they come from. That is why they paid their money to watch the bulldozer today. And yes, the good news is that that money which they paid is being shared equally between Jerry and Caesar. Not so sure Caesar can see the yellow he's aiming at in full, but by the fact that he's aiming at it, you think that he can see it fully. How about three consecutive apples at the return of the match, shared between both players with Caesar, about to take the second compared to Jerry's one. Imagine, put yourself in Jerry's shoes. What can you do when you are up against a guy who is queuing as good as Caesar is? At times, this spot is very unforgiving. Caesar, for the second, 22nd time, is up against the black, and for the second, 22nd time, he sinks the black. And Brian Yululets in front of the scoreboard before flipping it in favor of his favorite player. Caesar 22, Jerry 10. The fans are chanting, Caesar, we won a party. The guy crossing the arena is Samson Odong. He has come from Gulu district, 350 kilometers north of Kampala, simply to watch this game.
now the fans are starting to tip Brian, the guy who is flipping the scoreboard. They say he's flipping it so well. He has become so popular. We have watched since the return of the match three straight apples. Caesar returned with a break and dish. Jerry responded with an apple. Caesar responded once again with another apple. I want to believe that the picture, the quality of video and the audio is quite good. It is always my pleasure when the network is favorable, the lighting is as good as is today, such that the continent is united, not just united, but united with the quality, not only of the pool that is displayed on the tables, but of the pictures they are watching. Once again, thank you for always watching these videos when these players go live we are in the country of uganda which in my opinion is the most pool crazy country on the african continent if not the whole world here we have fans who are so crazy about the sport they support pool as most of you people support football or athletics or basketball or as rugby is supported in south africa pool enthusiasts are so passionate about their game and they are in their thousands in uganda and i thank you for joining ugandan pool online every time these games are streamed the jerry trip the jerry tour of uganda has been the most viewed tour online live and i am suspicious that the game between jerry and caesar the first one may have been the most watched game ever in the world not just on the continent i have never seen a game watched by 60 but look at this kind of clearance from caesar as if he is down you will not have a better shot to crop out for your TikTok account, for your WhatsApp status, to celebrate African pool at its very, very best. The Scorpion from Moyo to Gulu in Uganda via Lira and to Lusaka via Kampala is treating the bulldozer in a way that no South African would be happy about what a humiliation, what a one-sided match, what a performance from Caesar. Yes, Jerry hasn't had his day, but what a performance from Caesar. 23-10.
dry brick. Someone will say, come on, Jerry. Shout out to you, Isaac Kalisa. Maraisa si from Makansi. Maraisa. Maraisa, I don't like you for supporting Caesar against Mzansi. You know what I'm talking about, Maraisa. But it was nice working with you, streaming that battle between Caesar and Aiden at Flames. I hope we do meet one day again. Marvel Okeria James, Princess Bushra, Romano Walit, Elliot Tanui. Someone asking me who is Uganda's favorite between Dennis Onyango and Caesar. Well, Dennis Onyango is a much, is a bigger star of sport than Caesar. That one I can tell you without fear of controversy. Of course, he's a big star of a bigger sport than Paul and has represented one of the biggest football clubs on the African continent in Mamelodi Sundowns and has shined as its star. It is just a fact that in Paul, it is Caesar's time to shine. And talking of shining, he could go 24 10 up. How do you lead? with a difference of 13 against Jerry. Just think about it. Just think about it. How do you even? How do you even dare? Thank you for the correction, Davis Ahumza. Nine ball being more washed than black ball okay i am now informed thank you for that jj thank you for watching emmanuel chisala spina k francis tinaro zakinio lecoco salbat Matthew bokaba you do not give chance to caesar when he is queuing as good as he is today he will not allow you back on table. And I like to say that this one is a joke, but the fact that this guy is donning all black, maybe he was even communicating something from his dress code today. And he misses. And it won't come easy for Jerry to slice that ball to that center pocket. Although, if there is one player who can put that ball, that player must be Jerry. Jerry misses against a very unforgiving player. He will just make you run out of superlative, superlative Caesar when describing him on the queue. At least from the jury perspective, Caesar misses. But it is a miss which favors the misser. 
That is what I meant when I said the miss favors the misser because he was definitely get another, getting another turn on table. This ball he will nine times out of ten cut it to the corner pocket on the left. And he does. Fight is safe by the celebration of Brian. Caesar 24. Jerry 10. Rest to 25. Now this is the math. You may call it a hard task. But I would like to call it an impossibility. For Jerry to win this match, he must win 15 straight games. As in 15 straight games. And now, after that dry break, I will give you some seconds to enjoy one of the biggest victories Caesar is having in his career. Fans are asking me to pull out the money in the next seconds. I will no longer have any hold of it. I won't have any permission to have the 4,000 US dollars. It is going to be Caesars. But what a performance we have seen from Uganda's finest, who has become the toast of the African continent. After right now treating Jerry, to the worst ever defeat he will ever have in his career. Not more than 10 games won. As Brian the scoreboard guy starts to dance. Caesar defeats Jerry in a one-sided money match in Kampala. The rematch of the first rumble in Kampala ends in victory for the Scorpion. We shall look for him. He will be carried round by his fans. his Congratulations, Caesar. You have treated Jerry, one of Africa's best players, to a 15 game deficit. What has helped achieve this game? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Jerry for coming uh, to tour Uganda. It was really a good, good one. Uh, he has really made us to enjoy pool. Pool was a bit getting down in Uganda, but since he came, pool has been active. We are playing every day, every week. He's really making us enjoy the game. And about the game, Jerry played well. Jerry played. Uh, 
bad at the start uh, and while I was uh, utilizing from uh, his mistakes and I, I went now uh, in front of him from the beginning uh, then I gave him that big margin gap uh, I think that one uh, kind of let him down a bit and uh, I think I maintained the way I was playing though I had some mistakes in between but uh, what can your friends expect of you in China? Uh, in China, uh, I can't say much, but uh, all I know is um, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best to perform and uh, make my fans proud. Congratulations, Mr. Lewis. Go, go, go.